there, there are, there's two competing theories really about the way that life on Earth is structured. One is called the Medea hypothesis and it is an argument that really uh, suggests that life is destructive to life itself. It, it's a sort of a nature red in tooth and claw vision of the world that argues, for example, that the, the five great extinctions we've seen in Earth history, um, most of them at least result from activities of life itself. Um, so in that sort of world where life is uh, ultimately self-destructive, uh, you know, humanity and the world as a whole in fact is doomed to a series of, of catastrophes and then slow rebuilding afterwards. Um, perhaps ultimately a catastrophe that life won't recover from. Um, the Gaia hypothesis on the other hand was developed by a guy called James Lovelock when he was in California at the Jet Propulsion Lab and he just had this, this, this insight, this fundamental insight that in fact uh, life on the planet has acted to keep conditions on Earth suitable for life. So it, it, what has developed as a result of evolution is a sort of a self-regulating mechanism that keeps the temperature of the planet suitable for life and keeps the chemical compositions of the ocean suitable for life and so forth. And that vision really is one that draws much more strongly on co-evolution as a, as a trend.